Hi class, it's Mr Plumley here. At the beginning of the week I sent you this bit of information here on sustainability. It's got finite, non-finite, social factors, environmental factors and ethical factors. Now you have got a piece of work to do with this. If you have not done it yet, please do so. But in the meantime, I'd like you to do a bit of design work based upon this information here. I'm going to skip over to the next page where I've done my example. Here I've got a little wind turbine made out of half plastic bottles, a little motor, it's on a stand, and it should generate enough electricity to charge your smartphone. Um, the information I've put is this miniature personal wind time has blades made out of the bases of plastic bottles. The bottle ends catch the wind, turning the motor and generating electricity to charge a phone. This product recycles plastic bottles and generates electricity for free. So what I've done there is looked at the non-finite part at renewable energy. So I've looked at wind power and I've also looked at environmental factors such as recycling. Now you can make whatever product you want right here. Like I've got my little wind turbine. You could do anything you want at all. So if you wanted a bicycle powering washing machine, that's absolutely fine. If you wanted to look at recycled shopping bags, that's absolutely fine. You've got to be creative as you can and come up with a product using some of these environmental factors. So again, I've got renewable energy here with my little motor generator and I've got a free recyclable resource here with my plastic bottles. I really want you to be as creative as you can and think about what sustainability means to you and how you can build something for a greener future. Thank you.